Flamingo. Safety net. Wallet. Expanding foam. Yes, we <laughs> Episode 81, 81 of Is We Dumb. What's the date that this thing comes out? Oh, happy, hope you had a great Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's. You used to be, have a Valentine's. Yeah, we talked a little bit about how much of a bummer, even if it's not that important, if you don't get laid on Valentine's Day, yeah, there's still a little bit of like, ah, oh, man, if you're in a relationship. If mm. you're not, hope you fucking came so hard, <laughs> whatever you were doing. I, it's been so many years. Fingers inside, fingers outside. <laughs> I don't fucking care. I just hope that you exploded. I'm lucky that uh, Lindsay doesn't care about it, and I don't care. Like, like it's been sex so, in general. Uh, sex in general. Yeah. Uh, no Valentine's so, Day. I've saved so much time. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten so much shit done by not having sex. I feel. I feel like my uh, my ex. She did care about it. I believe. Oh. So I feel like it was. But it, but then it was that thing where like I would do the stereotypical guy thing, and it just uh, so ridiculous of. February thirteenth, go to fucking Safeway like before they close. Thirteenth, it's planning ahead, <laughs> or or day of day of, yeah. but like one of the two, and just grabbing the standard dozen red roses, grabbing what was the card at the grocery store. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love you, and, and then just like I was like, what am I doing? Yeah, like this is just it's so forced. Yeah, so contrived. Yeah, I think I I still kind of do that. But I, it's, I think it's mostly because Aaron also doesn't really fucking care. Yeah, she doesn't care. Yeah, just be be super cool. Like the other days too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah, because Lindsay cares very much about like romance. Maybe that's what she doesn't like about Valentine's is that it's like it feels like a hollow gesture love to her, me. where it's like I love you, here, obligatory I love you card, <laughs> obligatory flower. Where love you today, maybe not tomorrow. And and I get annoyed where that's the most expensive flowers are. Yeah, it, well, it's, like, it's like which you know makes sense. Price supply and demand. Yeah, but it's like it's like the the flowers are like two or three times as expensive. <laughs> That week leading up than they would be normally. So I'm like, no, nah, I'll, I'll just fucking get it the next week. You call it supply and demand. I think it's like supply and fuck, go fuck yourself. Supply and go fuck yourself. Like those are like that's kind of <laughs> how they how they do it around that time. <laughs> and I'll never have a chance to talk about this again. So I'm going to talk mm-hmm. about it right now. Mm-hmm. Fun thing, it got it got too expensive. Okay, so I had to stop. But this is a fun thing that I did for Aaron, uh, probably for me seven or eight months in a row. Yeah, I I don't know how how it started or what day it started, but she sent me to the grocery store to get like some bread or some bagels and cream cheese, uh-huh. and then I came back with a plant. So I bought the items and then I bought like a plant. Yeah, and it was a pretty small little plant. Okay, and to me it was super funny for weeks and months for almost over half a year to come. Every time she sent me to the store for something stupid, I came back with whatever it was and a fucking plant. And then eventually, like I <laughs> oh came, yeah, you told me about this. Yes. Eventually, I came home with like a fucking tree. Like she sent me out to get it. milk, and I came back with a lemon tree. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went, and then and then it got to the point where she was expecting it, yeah. so I started hiding them. So I'd start putting like plants in the bed. That's so when awesome. she went to climb into bed at night, she'd open it up to be a cactus. <laughs> <laughs> or I'd, I'd just hide them in the house. I'd put, already yeah. put them up, or like in different parts of the house, where like she wouldn't notice them for her, until she went around to water the other ones. And right. then she started complaining about how much she had to water the plants. <laughs> and then I don't. They're fucking ex- like that's yeah. expensive. Yeah, like it's not. Yeah, a, a, a ten dollars trip to the grocery commitment. store turns into eighty. Mm-hmm. And then they had got them bigger and bigger because it made the joke funnier and funnier. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, if you were looking for something to spice up your relationship. There it's not going to give you more sex, but, but it's fun. You have more plants, mm-hmm. and that make you happy. Your air is richer. Air is richer. You have more oxygen in your house. Air is richer. You're poor, <laughs> right? Which, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. All uh, right, so this is a really fun announcement because we're trying something new. Okay, we have a brand new merch item for Is We Dumb, mm-hmm. and I fucking love it. Logan mm-hmm. knocked it out of That's the park. Very cool with this. design. So it's a uh, kind of a cryptic. He's calling it a, a data transfer. Yeah, kind of design. Where you know it says I W D and a question mark that goes up over the top with a little yeah. dot, so you see the I W D design in it, uh, but it's not easy to spot. It's very you know hacker ish right, uh, right. type of design, yep. and we have sweatshirts, the zip up hoodie uh, with a big ass logo in the back. We got T shirts. We also have a beanie. Now, if you go to badmagicmerch.com or go to iswedumb.com and buy any of these, mm-hmm. let's say that you wanted all of them. Which I know me personally, I'm going to get fucking all of them because I love this design. <laughs> but you'll have four different entries into a raffle yeah. where we're going to get those portraits of us, like the family glamour shots that we have. Okay. okay. Uh, which still so funny to see those floating around. Yes. It kills me. Like just to know that there is, uh, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds of pictures of us just in people's fucking homes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing that pause. Uh, anyway, so if you buy any of these data transfer merch items, you'll be entered into a raffle to win an autographed uh, family portrait from us. 
We're going to sign them. Yeah, we're, there will be three of them, and we'll number them. Mm-hmm. Uh, number one, number two, number three. We'll sign them. We'll write fucking something stupid on them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, you know, whatever, a month or so down the line after we, you know, uh, this merch item kind of hits its giant peak yeah. and comes down, you have a chance to win some autographed uh, swag on top of just, you know, fucking already owning some amazing merch. So let's, let's try let's, it. Let's fucking give it a go. Let's, let's see what happens. Please don't make us look stupid dummies. <laughs> No, nah, but it, it is pr- maybe my favorite design that we've had so far. It's very, very yeah, cool. Yeah, Logan, you fucking killed it. Logan, say thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, again, badmagicmerch.com or head over to iswedumb.com. And if you need a reminder of what our family portrait photo looks like, on you, there you go. <laughs> so there's that. Silly. <laughs> fucking look at us. Silly, silly gooses. Two dummies. <laughs> I, um, there was a post going around the private Is We Dummies Facebook group. Yeah. Where someone was on a weather app. I forget uh-huh. who it was. Uh, but the banner at the bottom has an alternate of this photo <laughs> yeah. where I'm hugging like the back of your head. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> and if you took like a Brazers or a U-Porn sticker and put it over it, yeah. it would fit perfectly. <laughs> it's the exact same vibe. That's funny. Like it doesn't have that. It says, is be dumb. But if you took that out and just put fucking Pornhub, yeah. it would it, bingo. It fit. It's the exact same thing. Sweet. Uh, so whoever sent that in, that was, that was funny. Uh, made me laugh. Okay, juice is in our uh, pants. Let's let's get it out of let's get let's get it flowing into the rest of our bloodstream. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Let's roll it. The very super most important starting question. <laughs> Two fucking B names, Bryce mm-hmm. and Billy. Bryce and Billy. Bryce and Billy comboed up. They didn't even ask for it. I guess took parts of each one they sent in. Okay. Uh, to form this, would you rather? So my question for you, Dan Cummins, uh-huh. would you rather be hung over for the rest of your life, or have knees and elbows that bend the other way. <laughs> Man, hung over for the rest of your life. <laughs> or knees and elbows that bend the other way. The what wrong a, what a way. Weird, like I'm trying to think of how you'd walk. This, dude, it would be a fucking Oh, it'd be a shit show. You'd be an exorcist like yeah. commercial at all times. Now I don't care how fucking nice you are, uh, that monstrosity is fucking walking to you. Waving fucking backwards with their legs bending like flamingos. So if your leg is bending for, so you you'd have to, because <laughs> flamingos legs go that way, they don't go the right way. Oh, flamingos legs bend the, yeah, the they, other way. They go backwards, don't they? Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure. So you fuck, you'd be a flamingo, but they, and they don't oh, have. Yeah, elbow. so you would kind of have to walk backwards, or you'd have to. They just fold I can't the wrong even, way. I can't even like imagine like a mech warrior. How like picture you would a, walk a robot that has so here. It goes this way. Like a velociraptor or something. Yeah. It picks up and kind of like, it moves like that. Yeah. 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 What a weird, weird It's pulling forward, kind of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. And then your arms. Good luck with the chair. And then having them go the other way. So I guess you kind of like, you have to go up top and then bend (laughs) down something. (laughs) Like you're a dinosaur. It's very dinosaur-like. You're fucking awful is what it is. Sitting in the chair. I'll just take a seat real quick. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Your legs are like pointed up. You'd sit down. Your fucking feet would be like a U, like, a, like the letter U. Yeah. When you're in a chair. Come here. Come sit in my lap. What? Well, well I, where? Or, or I guess your legs would just be straight out in front of you because that's, that, that's how you would relax them to the straight point. <laughs> sure. And then and then when you wanted to get up, you'd have to tilt forward, <laughs> like way forward. It's just so fucking awkward. Uh, that's, the world. That's a, the world is not made for you. No. Everything that humans have made to for comfort or for functionality. Oh my god! You flipped it on its goddamn head. You're gonna have a real rough time in this world. You'd have to have like your gas pedal and, and <laughs> brake in your car on the on the top of underneath. Right. So you're like pushing up into you're them, kicking buttons and shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You can't draw. I mean, I, I guess kind know. of. And, you, and your <laughs> steering wheel. You have to have like a steering wheel <laughs> on the maybe ceiling. on the ceiling, like above your head, <laughs> and then like. <laughs> It'd be so <laughs> that'd awkward. be a, that'd be a fucking Uber to get into. Oh what my the god. fuck? <laughs> yeah, watching this dude kick his gas pedals up. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? So, Can you drive a little smoother? Sorry, I can't. I have to kick my gas pedal. <laughs> uh, so, so that's one option. Yeah, that's one option. Have, and what was the other one again? Be hungover. Oh, be hungover forever. Rest of your life. And I, I hate being hungover. The older I get, being hungover yeah. is the fucking worst. Right. Like. Uh, I got shit to do. And oh if God. I'm hungover, I'm real, I'm not good at it. I think in this scenario, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> well, okay. Let me, just, let me read the options. Okay. <laughs> uh, nope. So you either have to be hungover for the rest of your life. Right. Or your knees and elbows have to bend the other way. Okay. With my knees and elbows <laughs> bending the wrong way, 
<laughs> I'm gonna run out into traffic so much. <laughs> I knew that's what you're gonna say. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try and walk in front of cars. <laughs> I'm gonna do a weird walk in front of cars. This isn't funny. Um, yeah. Nah, never mind. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Keep going. It's not worth too, it. too dark. It'll for be this? Too, it's too dark. Uh, <laughs> I'll just say okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to say it. What? I, I don't know. Okay. Fuck. Get... No, but I guess it's insensitive to people that have like. Oh, like, like, like shot themselves. Physics. Yeah. Oh, oh, ins- okay. I was just picturing like forensic evidence people trying to figure out how the fuck he did it. Because it's like. Oh, right. Because it's all bending the wrong because way. Because you're bending the wrong way. <laughs> right, right, right. Like the. Cra- there had to be someone else. You can't shoot yourself in that <laughs> There's direction. There's no way. There's no way. Well, his arms bend the wrong way. Check this out. You pick him up. Yeah. Like his arms. What the fuck? Oh, oh he broke his elbow. Oh, no, it was him. No, it was him. It's 100% him. Um, uh, oh, I, I cut out a lot of the details. So I guess I want to go there. Go ahead. Keep going. What, a weird, what a weird thing. Now you have me thinking about crimes. What a weird thing. Where like they're trying to catch some serial killer, <laughs> right? And they're like, I don't know the the foot the footprints are in the wrong places, <laughs> right? Like I Doesn't mean, fit. yes, there are fingerprints, but fucking in weird spots. <laughs> And the grip is backwards. I don't know if it's the work of two people, uh-huh. and maybe one guy holding up another guy upside down. Like they're just trying. They're just like, I don't understand <laughs> how this combination of fingerprints and footprints could be at this crime scene. Right. And then they see like you walk up, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking Velociraptor way, or whatever, whatever the fuck that is. Not a walk. Like, it's like, oh a, shit, it's, it's like ours. A, it's like a crab walk. <laughs> we gotta talk to this guy. <laughs> yeah. Hi. <laughs> fucking need any help? Need any help? What are you guys doing here? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> like at one point, the 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 lead detective is right. like, "Only way this would happen is motherfucker's elbows and knees bent backwards." <laughs> yeah. Oh and really? Then, and then you come. <laughs> oh really? One person, Marv? Okay. Well, if it's one person, <laughs> his fucking arms bend the wrong way, and so do his legs. Hey okay. guys, right. what are you doing over here? <laughs> oh I'm, I'm, shit! I'm just here to open <laughs> open zoomies. <laughs> I'm the manager with <laughs> manager at Zoomies. <laughs> what happened here? It's like a lot of blood. <laughs> what a world. Uh, it's like writing. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. It's like it's such an abstract thought. Texting I don't know. everything. All of it. Like to text your phone, you have to stick your hands up like this. <laughs> and then your elbows will come back down. <laughs> It's a lot of overhead. <laughs> Fuck. Or like you get really good. <laughs> it's basically like your arms and legs are, but it's almost like they're facing backwards too, though. I mean, it doesn't say shoulder. So shoulders get to go like, oh, the right way. Well, and then the other ones just go the wrong way. That's true. Shoulders are, are oh, yeah, shoulders are still bending this way. And hips, they'll go. Um, just but, like but, if you're, but if your elbows the bend the other way. If you, you Basically what you could do, I think what you Scratch do, your back. No, no, you wear, you have a little helmet, like the like the cyclists, uh-huh. road, the road cyclists, where they have that mirror. <laughs> right. That's what you have for getting around. And you have like a series of mirrors coming off this crazy <laughs> helmet contraption. And then you just do every, you just head backwards. Okay. Like you walk backwards. <laughs> you have your arms behind you texting and stuff. and you, But you're looking the other way, texting <laughs> back here. And you have like this mirror. Series of mirrors to like, so you can actually be seeing your phone and stuff. <laughs> Just trying to fit in. You have a face painted <laughs> on the back of your head. <laughs> and you see that shit walking towards you on the sidewalk. <laughs> it's like, holy shit. Uh, that's crazy ass mask. You have to shave your head. You have a fucking mask on the back of your head. <laughs> but you have a normal back. We have a beer belly. Like on the other side, <laughs> your back has a beer belly. Like, <laughs> what a fucking mess. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Ears are facing the wrong way. It's a fucking mess. <laughs> Sex would be so weird. Oh, can you? Oh, dude. <laughs> be so weird. <laughs> Donkey style? <laughs> <laughs> You just get, just, you're doing like a weird, if you're trying to like smack their ass, it has to be like a weird, like stiff arm, like a weird, just smack, like you're like, your arm is a club. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> trying to do like the sit down sex thing and your fucking legs are sticking straight up <laughs> on the side of the bed. <laughs> Maybe like a little cage. Like she has like little things to hold on to. Ah, uh, you're like, baby, do you want to be on top? Oh God, no! <laughs> I mean, no. I'd rather no. I'd prefer not to. I'd rather you stand up like real stiff <laughs> and don't fucking move. That's what I want. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay. Anyway. So okay. So I have to pick between those two. I mean, can you get used to uh, being hungover for the rest of your life? See, that's the thing. As bad as the... <laughs> There's people out there right now living being hungover every day. <laughs> right. Life. So they're doing it. I don't want to feel that sick every day. So as fucked up as... I would rather <laughs> just take my chances with my helmet contraption and just adjust to a whole new Velociraptor-like life. Mm-hmm. 
I'll do that, but not be in pain. Yeah, I'll pick. I'll pick. Fuck uh, having backwards arms and legs. I be. I hate being hungover so much. I'm also going to do that. I'll make a living out of it. There's got to be. There's like. There's a circus looking for me. <laughs> yeah. So that's where I'm going. There we go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, thanks, Bryce and Billy. What a mess. Uh, you did something stupid. Should we talk about oh, it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's do it, Logan. Last week we talked about Schweitzer Mountain Resort and my mm-hmm. Super Bowl. Yeah, problems I, up there. I had and now we're going back well. there. We're going back there. Uh, I went, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is a couple weeks ago, went to uh, take a lesson because I'm really bad. And, oh, uh, skiing and snowboarding. Yeah, skiing. So in case you're just, take, in case you're just tuning lesson. in, you're like, what yeah. the fuck is Schweitzer? Yes, yeah, ski, ski, ski resort. Yeah. Taking a, a, a lesson because uh, it was um, just, I was just going up alone. The kids are with their moms. Uh, Lindsay's out of town. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go get a lesson because uh, this, the difference in skill between Kyler Monroe and me has gotten wider and wider recently. And I don't want to like just not be able to go on runs Get with left them. Behind, yeah, yeah. Like I, I'm, I'm the, uh, I'm the PE kid now, or the recess kid that's like last picked. <laughs> I become, sure. I become the skiing equivalent of that, where it's like nobody wants uh, me on their team. Uh. And so I'm like, okay, I'll take a lesson, and, and, and it was a good lesson. It was a fun lesson. Wild Bill, <laughs> at wild Schweitzer. Bill. I swear to God, this guy's easily 80 years old at least. Uh. He has been working there. I believe he said 49 years, and he worked at two ski resorts previous to this one. And I believe him. And two, and two of them had child labor. Oh, two, two. That's of the, the only way. I think no. I think he was 18 plus <laughs> at all these places. And if I am half as energetic and as healthy when I'm 80, mm. I'll be fucking crushing it as this guy. Yeah. Like inspirational. Wild it's, Dan. I mean, yeah, Wild Dan. Wild Danny. Love Wild. And but honestly, uh, if you're local and you get to pick an instructor. Give give Wild Bill a chance. This guy's awesome. Give him a ride. Give him a ride. And uh, so, but I, because my technique is so bad, it is exhausting because I try to like muscle my way down the hill because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And, uh, but I was figuring it out, but it was like, I was just so tired. And so like when I go to the truck, I'm just over it. And I had to take like, I got there a little bit late. It was so packed on the Saturday I went. I mean, the most packed I've ever seen it. They got a fucking parking issue oh my at that God. mountain like no other. We've talked about how many people have moved here. Yeah. You're, we're feeling it oh, right yeah. now on the mountain. It's a fucking mess up there. There is like these remote lots, and the first two lots were completely full. The, the, the first remote lot was almost full. So I had to park in the remote lot. And then you have to take a shuttle, but I had to wait. There was a line of like 200 people yeah, to take the shuttle to the bottom of the, you know, like whatever, yeah. to get to the fucking yeah. hill. So uh, on the way back, you know, I get out of the shuttle. I've been, um, you know, I'm just like not used to wearing the boots and stuff. So I just can't wait to get this shit off. So I hurry and get my stuff off at the truck and I set my wallet on the side of uh, the, the truck bed. So on the little like above the wheel well, right behind the cab on that little ledge. You know, uh, where it's, if it falls uh, two inches inside, it's going to fall into the truck bed. If it were to fall two inches on the other side, it's just going to fall onto the ground. Yeah. So I set my wallet there, make a mental note of like, got to grab that. Takes me longer to get my boots off always. I'm such a fucking klutz with this stuff. It's like, yeah. it's just a mess just trying to get the shit off. Mm-hmm. And I'm so frustrated by the end that I get everything off. I'm like, oh, thank God. And just get in my truck and forget about my wallet. Oh, boy. And then I drive down. And, and what sucks is, is I knew, I made a mental note, I didn't even tell you this earlier, I made a mental note, like, be sure you grab everything because one of the last times previous to this place, I was so tired and exhausted when I left, I forgot to grab my skis and poles and I started to pull out and I ran over my own fucking skis. <laughs> and, and I was like, I was like, oh, what's that noise? And I got up and I'm like, oh, you fucking idiot. You left. <laughs> luckily, no, what was that? Luckily, didn't break anything. Holy shit. Scuffed up one of the ski poles a little bit. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Like it's fine. Fuck no one. Will, so who cares? If you haven't gone skiing or snowboarding ever in your life, yeah. it's hard. Uh, uh, a long day on the mountain. Yeah, you're fucking exhausted. It's just so I've, exhausting. I've left Pepper ski boots in the in the in the parking lot. Oh, you have? Yeah. We just fucking drove off and oh, I got you're home. So tired. And Aaron's like, car. "Where's the fucking ski boots?" And I'm no. like, "God damn it!" And I just left them to the side of the yard or the side of the car and drove off. Oh. Luckily, someone grabbed them. That's amazing. And then just like brought them back. So the next time we went up, they had they them there. like in the lost and found. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which thank you because the parking lot. And lost and found, not fucking close to right. each other. Mm-mm, so someone had all. the heart to spend thirty minutes of their life to get these fucking ski boots yep. back to the lodge. Yep. Anyway, back to you. So, so I made a special note to like make sure you have all of your stuff. Yep. Don't just drive off really quick this time. Still <laughs> leave it, and then uh, <laughs> I decided I need to get gas before I left. So I drive down, and you're driving this mountain, and it's these hairpin turns that are fifteen mile per hour turns that are no joke fifty mile per hour. Like it's more than what is that uh, ninety degrees? You have to wrap back around. It's almost a full one eighty. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And uh, and it was no ice, so I'm taking them a little faster even. So I'm like, you know, zipping around those. There wasn't too much traffic going down because I was going down midday. So I'm hauling ass down the hill, zipping around these corners, mm-hmm. uh, get to uh, town, and I'm like, I, I got to get gas. Look, can't find my wallet. And I was like, oh, shit, I hope it's in the back seat. <laughs> right. And, uh, and uh, you know, get to the gas station, look around, can't find it. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And uh, go out. It's sitting exactly where it was. <laughs> Fuck. It, that was like the closest I've ever experienced to a miracle. Because <laughs> right. I'm like, there's no fucking way this thing should be there. Listen, I, I don't usually pray. I don't usually pray. But dear I was Jesus. Like, Listen, God, <laughs> I know you're, I know a lot of people are dying right now. <laughs> but I appreciate you taking time away from that to make sure that my wallet made it down the hill. <laughs> blah, 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 pandemic. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Listen, I know there's a lot of, I know there's a lot of war-torn uh, countries right now where people are getting raped and killed. Right. And, I, and I know that you've been kind of like a little bit absent over there. But I appreciate... <laughs> You looking out for me in this one. So, you know what? Mysterious ways worked in my favor. You know what? Thank you. Amen. A- amen. <laughs> thanks for the gas. Jesus, I owe you one. Amen. <laughs> thanks. I, Jesus, I, thanks for the wallet. Thanks for the wallet. I owe you a breakfast burrito. <laughs> Hot dogs on me. Hot dogs on me next time you get next time, when you get back. Listen, God. Energy drinks on me. <laughs> Whatever you want at the gas station. Jesus, next time you get back, uh, energy, drink, energy drink on me. If you're, if, listen, Jesus, if we pull up in the same gas station, <laughs> I'll fill your tank up premium. Right. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, but, but I just can't believe, like, so dumb to have left it there, but then I just laughed so hard. Hard, just like a maniac by myself. I'm like, this is absurd. There's no fucking way. I was, it was like, how dumb for me to be so careless on my credit cards, my driver's <laughs> license, my insurance cards. Uh, all, my wallet is so full of like so many things that I don't have duplicates for. Yeah. And then just to like leave it on the side there. And then uh, there's, I feel what like if I, I did, if I did it, that a hundred extra times, <laughs> it would fall randomly somewhere in the mountain every single other time. I don't know how it made it. Right before you put it down, you super glue it out. You get some super glue out. Oh my god! Like, okay, in case I forget, you just glue. It. And like, there was, it's the only way it fucking stayed there. There was no ice. No, there was no, I don't, there was yeah, nothing I know your sticky. truck. I don't know the fuck how it I, stayed there. Yeah, it, I do not know how it made it. It's almost like the equivalent of leaving. I don't know your baby on the roof. And right. then you got down the mountain and your baby was still yep. on the roof. Yep. Like, it's odds are not high. Right, exactly. It's <laughs> like you put your fucking baby uh, on the fucking, you know, top of the car. Sure. And then you go for a 30-minute drive down a mountain. <laughs> right. And you're like, oh, I wonder where my baby is. <laughs> right. And then you, you pull over, it's still on top of the car. You, you turn around and say, you haven't cried once. And your baby's not there. <laughs> like, the, kind of yeah. the equivalent. Right. Like, oh, fuck, baby's on the roof. And you right. get out. Oh, Jesus. Thank God baby's still on the roof. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nine, yeah, nine out of ten times, the baby's going to be fucking right off one of those turns. Right. So oh, I'm, so I'm going to pay attention. You lucked out. I lucked out. And, okay. I, and, I, and I didn't deserve it because I had messed up previously. <laughs> so uh, I, I have to, like, be more careful now going what, forward. What's, take a second to check for things. What's the next thing that you're going to leave? Oh, the mountain. I don't know. I'm nervous. The picture of you being the first one. Hopefully not some of my blood. <laughs> running over Hopefully your, I make it down the hill. Running over your own skis is really funny, too. Nice. I don't know why. Uh, just like, all right, all done. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> well, and that one was with Monroe, too. So that was like one of those great embarrassing things. And she was cool about it. But you just feel like an asshole. You're like, like I'm so on them. Are you sure you have all your stuff? Uh-huh. You check. You check. Everything's in the backseat. Check for skis. Yep. Check for skis. Check for I, shoes. I did that. You got all your stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay. Well, then let's go. And then crunch. <laughs> and, and then just pop out like, oh, <laughs> dad forgot all Listen, his stuff do, outside. Do you have all your shit? I'm not coming back. We're not bro. coming back here. I'm tired of you fucking leaving care- your shit all over the place. Listen, this stuff isn't free. <laughs> I don't pick this out the fucking snowboard tree. Right. You know, you be careful. You treat yourself with respect. <laughs> right. Crunch. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's my skis. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck me. <laughs> I, I did that on purpose. I teach you a lesson. Teach <laughs> you a lesson. About if you start leaving your shit around, that's what happens. You might run it over. Somehow turn it on them. Right. That's what happens. That's why I get upset. That's what happens when you're a stupid fucking kid. When you're careless with your shit, <laughs> you run it over. Right? right? Yeah. Why do I have to go so far to teach you lessons? Right? And while you're yelling at her, you're just going back and forth and running over your skis just over and over, over, it. And over and over again. As my as my wallet fucking falls off the side of the truck. <laughs> uh, I, C- I, cut to me b- begging her for money for gas. Right? Listen, I'm sorry about it earlier, right. but we're not. I can't. I, I have no money. I can't. We, we can't can, go back. Please, home. I know you have a debit card. I can't buy. I can't come buy on. new skis unless we get back home. Come on, come on. I need your just let me. Just let me some money. <laughs> Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Always will. I'll let you stay as long as you want. Just love me some money. But I'll love you a little more if you can get me fucking home right now. Okay? I I think there's some people out there that have left dumb shit on the roof of their car. Oh. I'm hoping not a baby. Hopefully not a baby. But I feel like we should toss that out to the dummies right now. The dumbest oh, shit sure. that you've left on the top of your car and driven around. Or maybe the back. Yeah. Or just, yeah, forgotten I've... that was completely <laughs> a part of your vehicle transportation <laughs> situation. Yeah. 
and just fucking forgot him and just moved on with your life. I'm like, oh shit. I've done drinks so many times, mm -hmm. like an absurd amount of times, <laughs> where like uh, either on top of the cab or like back, just, you know, set down a, a fucking coffee or whatever. Uh -huh. And then, you know, you get to where you're going, you're like, oh, I wonder where that coffee went. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> I guess, or, or you know what you did. And so your next stop is back at the coffee, coffee place. <laughs> like, God damn, I've done that. Where I left it on the roof of the car. I heard it fall off. Yeah. And I went, fuck. And I just went right to the coffee stand again to get another coffee. <laughs> Like, that was my next, that was just on my way. I was like, well, I'm a fucking idiot, but I need my coffee. I had a crazy, and this isn't exactly the same, but it's close, but this was just last night. I went to that Metro car wash on 95. No, oh, yeah. I got, I got a fucking pass. I, I finally did too. Oh. I've got enough times. High five car wash pass, friend. I've, I've got enough times where they finally talked me into it. I'm like, you know what? It would save me money just to mm. go ahead and get the pass. Especially but, in the winter when I do it one time a month. They, oh. That's how they get you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But the, uh. My windshield wiper, one of them, it broke a little bit, but it was it was still on, like the blade, like the little contraption that locks it into place yeah, on little, that little metal, metal hook. Yeah, metal flappy thing. That little, uh, uh, that thing broke, but there was still a little bar there where you could keep the windshield wiper on. So enough pressure. Yeah, it was enough pressure, so yeah. it was loose. And I just kind of like, I kept meaning, to, I bought new windshield wipers, and I kept meaning to get uh, put, them, put them on, which I did this morning. You know what's funny? What? Before you continue, I borrowed your truck to make a dump run. Oh, yeah. And it was raining. Yeah. I almost went to like Napa and just bought you new fucking windshield wipers. Oh, did you? I had them in the back seat. <laughs> yeah, you, you would have seen another <laughs> pair in the back seat. But God damn it. But I was always like, this motherfucker, like, how's he even yeah. driving around in this weather? I know. I, know. I almost went and got you some new ones. It was ridiculous. <laughs> uh, yeah, with a lot of screaming, I had some problems, but I figured out how to put them on this morning because they <laughs> weren't the same model as the other ones. But, but when I went to the car wash, that thing wasn't fully attached. <laughs> and I did this thing where it like, it flew off. Once the drying part hit, yeah. and I'm, I'm pretty sure it hit the car behind me, <laughs> and I just pretended it didn't happen. Of course it didn't. What the fuck <laughs> are they going to do about it? Right. They can't. Well, you they're, leave before them. I know. And, and get out of there. And they're going to complain to the people that work here. Like, yeah, you got a fucking windshield wiper hit my... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... like, I, I, I don't, you think, like their whole, think about a car wash. <laughs> Where all of the washy things in there are fucking windshield wipers. <laughs> <laughs> just, it just scrubs your car? <laughs> just whipping around on those but, little spinny things. Those fucking <laughs> metal windshield wipers. But it was a crazy thing where I saw like it flapping from the air pressure. I'm like, oh, oh boy. boy. And, then, and then it just goes, whoop. And then I just heard it <laughs> behind me. Bang. And I'm like, e just look ahead. <laughs> just keep, just keep driving. Going. Keep driving. Uh, no problem here. <laughs> There, look, my car's fine. <laughs> I need to get rid of that thing anyway. <laughs> so I'm not going to fucking complain because I'm happy. Oh, boy. I'm going to leave a better review. <laughs> took, took care of my uh, my broken windshield wiper. Five, <laughs> five out of five stars. Five out of five stars. Wouldn't change the thing. Thanks for, not, thanks for not hassling me over the windshield wiper. <laughs> Properly disposed of my broken windshield wiper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad you have your wallet because losing your wallet fucking sucks. Oh, I've, I've, only, I've only done it once. Before. I've only done it once. It does it suck. fucking sucks. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on to the dumb, dumb idiots portion of the show. Yeah, let's do it. And we're going to do it as soon as Logan pushes the button whenever he wants to. Go ahead, sir. We're waiting on you. Go ahead and push it whenever you want to push it. Go ahead. Logan! <laughs> dumb. Dumb, dumb. Dumb. Dumb, dumb. Dumb, dumb. Idiot. This was sent in by Dummy Trevor. Uh, the clip that we're about to watch, I guess it was featured on Mythbusters. I haven't watched it since I since I pulled this this information, but the thought that this actually fucking existed. Now, when you watch this video clip, and what you're going to see here is basically it's a catapult or a trebuchet, okay, throwing fucking people into a net, okay, okay. Yeah. And you tell me if you mm -hmm. thought that everyone was okay uh, the whole time that this thing was in operation, okay, <laughs> okay. like no okay. one no one ever got hurt. Right. Uh, take a look at the video here. Whoa. The mad dogs and Englishmen of the dangerous the fuck built a medieval <laughs> trebuchet to toss adrenaline junkies nope. 180 nope. feet at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> I wouldn't trust those In carnies. In 2000, the unfortunate Stella Young took the ride. She hit the safety net, then the ground. Oh! Headlines. Stella escaped with a broken pelvis. Two years Ooh. later, a 19-year-old man missed the net yeah. completely and died. Yeah! Before the Mythbusters... Of course! <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of fucking idiots! <laughs> like, anyone with half a I'm brain. I'm sorry, the dude, I'm sorry the dude died and the girl got hurt. Well, and yeah. I guess that, and That's I, why I'm I, upset. I saw some more reports that more people died. Like, 58 people got injured. Fucking and two what? people died. That's, I, I, and I don't know if that was a lie, but I did look at it to make sure yeah. that this was fucking real. But looking at that setup, <laughs> dude, I would say anyone with half a brain is like, oh, this is just a, this is death waiting to happen. Yes. Like, this is really stupid. It is straight up what, you, for the strictly listening audience right now, it's exactly what you think. There's somebody, like, tied up in a ball, 
basically made to look like a, a cannonball or a rock of some sort. Yep. A string is attached to it. Yeah. They fucking drop the weight, and it throws these people over 100 feet into a goddamn safety net. And just the way those ancient trebuchets work, this is not like uh, a bungee cord where you can be like, okay, we get a cord that is properly tied off. It has this amount of elasticity. We know the, the distance is this. We know the weight range is such and such. We weigh people, like, whatever. You can, mm-hmm. like, take safety precautions. This is this kind of system uh, is going to have more problems because it's that that yeah that weird ancient you know like the way it slings you right you know like it's like when you're flinging you. somebody and whipping somebody across like that there's so many more places for things to go wrong and they don't have the safety net big enough right to cover all the ground they, they in a proper way if you were really doing this it'd still be fucking dumb <laughs> yeah but to have it be less dumb the safety net safety net begins it, it first of all it surrounds the trebuchet it should be fuck the entire and it, and it extends <laughs> at the maximum distance you could fling somebody it should be like uh, four acres big right That's how big this fucking safety net a should gigantic be gigantic safety net <laughs> yes then maybe yeah maybe i would get in it right and it's still stupid it's just, it's just <laughs> so, a dumb thing to do but i saw this because this... those people aren't stunt there's not stuntmen no they're not shooting out of a fucking cannon right like it is uh it is comical how small this net is for for everyone who has not seen the video, yeah. like it, it can't be more than fifty feet wide, yeah, and maybe what like eighty feet long, yeah, like it's just a fucking mess, right? Like just quadruple the size of that thing, and then, My and God. then maybe these fucking poor people wouldn't have hurt, like wouldn't have died. And then <laughs> there was people. Uh, I was reading the comment section, yeah. like yeah, we'll just throw them into water. I'm like, have you oh ever God. fucking hit the water spinning going forty? Right. Like it's not you can it, still you're not hitting a pillow. Mm-mm. Like if you still gonna mess people up. Right. And they're all tied up. Like they have to, like they have their they're not going in one direction. They're spinning balls. <laughs> to to me, this like this is the equivalent of if you were like like cliff jumping, mm-hmm. which I've seen like there's crazy, you know, those uh, videos of people doing, especially like the parkour type athletes that will do these crazy cliff uh, dives as yep. well, where you have to jump a certain amount of distance out to clear a rock outcropping before you hit the water. And you see people doing it who are like, you know, daredevils who are athletically gifted though mm-hmm. and it's still crazy but it's like they train for that they know they understand how to like throw their body through the air in a different way it would be like opening up a jump like that to the general public uh-huh. and anybody you just pay us 50 bucks and we let you run down this fucking uh, stretch of rock and jump and hope for the best <laughs> right and then be like oh my god i can't believe somebody died it's like no i can't believe someone didn't die the, the fucking first hour you were open no, i can't believe you fucking got permission to open this right like that's where who's regulating where this, this starts exactly but the 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 picture of an amusement park that yeah. has rides like this oh my god where if you showed up and it wasn't roller coasters and like basketball right. games and like little spinny things that yeah. are metal and well built. Yeah. You showed up and you walk through the entryway and there's people uh-huh. fucking getting thrown by trebuchets no. <laughs> into fucking nets. Yeah. And then like maybe next to them there's flaming balls getting shot oh, at like paddle boats. You know, like th- what are what's, what are the other type of activities that could fucking be happening? This is knife like, throwing. Right. Like right. where you put your your mom mm-hmm. gets on the spinning wheel yep. and you, you spin knives. it and you start throwing knives to win a, a plushie. That's what this reminds me of. Animal. Rather than a carnival, this reminds me of a circus <laughs> where uh, when you pay, you don't pay to watch it. You pay to just do whatever the people in the circus do. Right. You know, you pay a hundred bucks. You get to be in the ring with the lions. You get a whip, <laughs> and now whip. you're you're the lion tamer. Here's a whip. Here's a tiger. Mm-hmm. Have you, fun. You pay two hundred bucks. <laughs> you're, you're the human cannonball. Right. And you have no fucking training, and they just stuff you in a cannon and shoot you. That is a. See, I stopped going to the circus Trapeze. a long time ago. This is the circus I would go to. Oh my god, for just watching? Just watching like people that got picked up off a of Craigslist yep. to go do the trapeze performance. Oh my god. Just <laughs> random people who have chosen, like, ah, I want to try that. Yeah, it looks fun. It would be it would be like like they have a they have a bar uh-huh. next to the circus. And when they just try and get people drunk enough to agree to try these things. Uh-huh. And then yeah, you want to do the trapeze wire without a net? Go for it. Fucking get yeah, tight wire. Come on, you're only hundred feet up in the air. <laughs> tight wire or tight rope? Oh walk. my god. Acrobats. The hammer dude. Just two hammered people <laughs> on, on that, and one trying to flip to be caught by the other one. Right. <laughs> Walking around on stilts, like mm-hmm. juggling flaming, like flaming sticks. Or, or an, <laughs> another another equivalent would be like the X Games. Oh yeah! If instead of like the elite athletes of the X Games worlds, it was just random people who were just like, okay, we're just gonna hop, t- tie your feet down to a skateboard. Do you skateboard? Do you skateboard? I did once. I did once. Okay, we're gonna tie, <laughs> we're gonna fucking tie your feet down to the skateboard, and we're gonna push you into this um, <laughs> this mega ramp. This, <laughs> <laughs> this major vert thing and we're just gonna yeah. see what happens right, right. <laughs> and you're going against uh, like Danny Way and Tony Hawk right <laughs> right oh my god just, just cr- crazy like jackass type things uh-huh. people like forget I think some some of those shows too that like they're professional stunt people <laughs> I don't know a lot of people I, I find in life they have a very false sense of security with the world around them 
Like I think of people, okay, I used to think when I was down in Santa Monica and you'd see these people on these cruiser bicycles and it was like a whole kind of like look mm -hmm. for that neighborhood at that time where you have your kind of bohemian, mainly women, kind of like a little bohemian or boho kind of look with a certain kind of dress, like very, you know, uh, what is it, um, hippie chic or something. Right. And then they would, you know, uh, some pretty woman on this bike with a little basket on the front, but she's in fucking traffic <laughs> and she has no helmet. She has no mirrors and apparently not a character in the world just like weaving around not observing the traffic laws kind of a pedestrian kind of and people would get hit on these bikes all the fucking time wow and, why how'd that happen <laughs> and you'd hear about like oh yeah they, that freaking fucking died last week somebody died you know they hit here but it's like that news wouldn't make it to the other people doing this and they just you know like have so much faith of course it didn't everything, everything's gonna work out they're out riding they come on i got my dress on they don't watch the news look at this cool basket <laughs> right what could, what could happen? Your fucking death could happen. That's, that's what could happen. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> maybe we're, uh, yeah. I, I, I picture um, if you had that and you had one person going around dressed up like the Grim Reaper <sighs> on like a black decked out bike. Yes. Kind of like a, har like a Harley yeah. kind of look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Warning them all. Warning. Yep. I remember like, I stop doing not, this shit. Not smart. I'm following you. Not smart. <laughs> I'm waiting. I know what I'm doing. It reminds me of selfie deaths when people try like oh, Grand yeah. Canyon stuff. But I think that's like... I don't know. Uh, pe some people don't have a good sense of this is very dangerous. Like they don't, their brain isn't thinking. Maybe they've just been uh, so insulated in their life. They're like, yeah, but this is. Uh, there's, I I'll get a cool picture. Yeah, you know, exactly. if I stand here, I'll just get a cool picture. And it's like, yeah, but if your foot slips or if the ground crumbles a tiny bit, then you will die. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that's right. That's right. I remember. I forgot about that. We covered that one story of the girl leaning out the window on the freeway, oh my God. taking a selfie, and just yep. you know falls out the fucking window. Yep. It's like yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, that's what happens. That's the shit that happens. Mm -hmm. uh, what a what a hellscape though. Walking into an amusement park <sighs> and you're just seeing people flying around getting launched by cannons. Oh my god! Then like someone who doesn't really go, hey, you want to tame a lion? Right. Yeah, sure. Walk up there, you're, you're like like Pepper's like, yeah, I'll do it, and just goes into a fucking cage with lions and hopes for the best. That would be a great show to watch though. <laughs> Reminds me of Action Park. Remember that? Have you seen that documentary? Uh, -uh. And I think Logan's seen it. I forget where um, where it was, but somewhere in the United States, they had to close it down because it was yeah. just like a bunch of fucking insane water slides oh my that God. were going off cliffs. What? And shit like that. But then like the public just got to show up and do it. <laughs> it didn't last long. A lot of people got hurt. Well, and that's why those places do need to be regulated. Where like mm -hmm. like part of me will veer towards like, no, don't regulate, man. Just let it, if you're fucking dumb enough to do it. But then I think about kids mm -hmm. and I just think about, you know, a lot of people have been conditioned where it's like, oh, this is a business. So they must, must be safe. They must be safe. Uh -huh. These people work here, so they must know what they're doing. <laughs> I mean, I remember, I'm just a skeptical person, more by nature. I remember as a kid going to a carnival and just, you know, uh, however this sounds, whatever, but like the people working there did not seem like the uh, cream of the crop of society. They, they seemed like a little uh, sketchy, mm -hmm. a little sketchy. And just looking around and be like, oh, this place isn't safe at all. Mm -hmm. Like I was, I didn't go on any of the rides. I'm like, no, this place is. You don't care about me. Yeah. This, this, you, put, you put this together? Yikes. Right. This, this this person has passed no fucking uh, uh, you know criteria for <laughs> m making sure this thing these things are safe. They're doing this because they literally couldn't find anything else to do. Right. I wouldn't I wouldn't trust this fucking person to uh, you know sell me a fucking candy bar. <laughs> Assembly or put together my IKEA desk. Right. Right. Get along this carnival ride. I'm trusting mm -hmm. my life with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I picture all the like the rides that exist now where they just um, you know like the zipper or whatever, yeah. but instead like the ends just fly off. Oh like God. that's like this, and you land in a net. You hopefully land in a net. Yeah, uh, you know, hundred yards away, and if you don't, you die. That's fine. It's a it's a risk you take. Mm. Uh, not the dumbest thing I was able to come across this week. Yeah, we saved that for apocalypse pending, and we're going there right now. Mm -hmm. It's the apocalypse. Sent in by dummy Rebecca. Uh, this would I guess this could happen in this fictitious amusement park that we've created. Okay. But it doesn't really fit in uh, like amusement or game or anything. Here you go. Man's penis may never work after wife puts expanding foam inside it to keep him hard during sex. Oh boy. And it might've broken his dick forever. Yay. Well, how could it break your, what is happening What do you here? mean how could it break your dick? It's fucking. But, but and it's expanding foam, <laughs> but, how do, but how does it like make it so it can't ever get hard again? Cut, Just messes up the blood vessels? Yeah. Have you ever, have you ever fucking fucked around with expanding foam? No. Oh, that shit, that shit's not coming out of that dick. You have to, you have to slice, you have to slice that fucking dick open. Well, they probably did to get it, all the stuff I out. I bet they did. It is the, it is so sticky. It is such a fucking mess. Oh my God. And she like, sprayed that into his pee hole? Uh, Yeah. 
Just trying to fill it up and make it hard. What the fuck? They, they must have been on drugs. Uh, sure. But it was also wasn't the first thing that they tried. You ready? Sure. Par- partners experiment a lot during sex. Uh, sex. 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 But this couple's experiment might have gone too far. Yeah. So a man's penis may never be able to function after his apartment or his partner put expanding foam inside it with the aim of keeping him erect. The man had been struggling with uh, impotence for a while and had been inserting various objects into the opening of his penis during sex with the aim of keeping him erect. How so they, what else are they doing? What did they do right. before they went? You know what? Expanding foam. Uh, was he sticking like a like a like Chop, a skewer uh, in there? One, one chopstick. <laughs> one chopstick. Two chopsticks. Mm-hmm. Different Lincoln, brands of chopsticks. Lincoln log. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like what, like building up to different things. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Crayons. <laughs> yeah. Sharpie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just things that. And like some made it too like too hard. <laughs> right. Where right. it just like had had no gift. <laughs> right. Which was also a problem. Oh like, my god! Like like, like a like stainless steel. I don't shish know. Kebab. Shish kebab. I thought I was saying. Yeah. Shish kebab skewer. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. fucking whip. Wah! Whip that guy in there. I I just don't understand. Like, and maybe he did, but it's like, why wouldn't you try Viagra or I something know. like that first? Why would you go to like go to go to pharmaceuticals <laughs> rather than? Well, I'm just going to put uh, hard things down my pee hole to then like that's such a weird like way to think that that would keep your dick hard Mm -hmm. it's like yeah it would still be a a limp penis well that just is in this straight (laughs) form that would like it would work it would be such a weird mixture of of limp and hard what yeah it's a mess just a mess you're trying to like trying to have sex with that yeah this limp ass fucking thing with a rod in the middle stiff dick like squishy outside hard Uh, center right (laughs) yeah it is like a shish kebab it is. It would be like if you if you took a limp pen, penis and then put a shish kebab skewer through it. Oh, like, God. what does that look like? Yeah. That's what you're having sex with. Oh. That's fun. So a 45-year-old uh, unidentified man had a bad oh. reaction. What? Yeah, what? After his partner tried to use uh, the straw the can uh, to put the insulation right in oh, there to keep him hard. Uh-huh. So these are like the, like the canned air. Since you've never seen it, <sighs> you put a little attachment on it. Okay. And you'd whip that oh. in there and then just... And that, oh my god, I, it, it expands. Okay. Like it, it's not just a tiny. Where it's going to change yeah. a little bit in size. So you probably almost exploded his dick. Fuck. Like the so like, much pain. You can you can so much pain, dude. You can fill a hole in a wall, like easily whatever six inches across, eight inches across, just by spraying it in okay. the middle. Okay. It'll just expand out. So what happened to this guy's wiener? That doesn't matter. I know it, it, it exploded. I, I want to know. Okay. Uh, uh, so medical staff managed to extract the foam from inside the man's bladder during surgery, but the masses located in his penis proved more problematic. Now, did it say before that, did it say like what happened after she did it? Um, did it say like he started screaming or anything? Uh, no, not that I was, not that I saw. He said that he went in when he found it increasingly sore and difficult oh, to urinate. Okay. Oh, you can't pee? Why not? Because it's expanding foam? foam in your fucking penis hole. Oh, man. So he started passing blood, and then obviously he's like, well, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Ooh. And it looks like some of it got into his uh, into his bladder. So a doctor yeah. tried to grab the foam and pull it out through the opening of the man's penis with specialized tools, but this proved impossible, again, because it's fucking expanding foam, and it's so oh, sticky. No. And they gave him some kind of disease because of, like, scarring in the urethra. Yep. Like, oh, man. Oh, my God. This guy's penis is a mess. That's a fun picture, though. Uh, and oh my god doctors then forced to perform a, uh, a perineal urethr oh, I can't think of that word but like your thrust to be your thrust to be trust me where a new opening is made between the scrotum and the anus to remove the remaining fra- man they had mm-hmm. to like do some crazy surgery yeah this foam this foam is, is not fun oh boy no problem during the surgery and the man is expected to undergo further surgery to repair his urethra but only after he passes uh, whatever that word is <laughs> yep, psychiatric <laughs> Is that what it said? Yeah. Oh, I thought that, that word made. I looked at it right then. It was like fucking like forty letters, and I was like, "Nah, I'm out here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not fucking reading that." I uh, oh fuck that. I've never stuck wow. in anything in my pee hole, not even a little bit. Yeah, I, I haven't either. I uh, I burned my, the, the piece the pee hole stuff. I burned my pee hole on a heater when I was a kid, which I had a whole fuck yeah you bit did. about. Um, but never like tried to put something inside the hole. Yeah, never tried to like jam something up there. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Sounding. Ooh. Remember that sounding video mm-hmm. I showed you? Mm-hmm. Do you forever? Yeah. Uh, Want me to explain it to you? So there's a penis, <laughs> and this woman had a whole dildo, and she was shoving it in the pee hole. Oh my god! Like a like a full like a full like a yes, decent sized start- vibrator. It started like with a fi- uh, a sharper tip though. Sure, but man, unbelievable. Just, yeah, 
like a, like a like a nice little little dildo right in the pee hole. When, when Logan said when he was a little curious little kid, he might he he may have tried to stick a little coffee straw in his wiener hole. Logan, how'd it feel? I honestly don't remember. He, he's how not even it, sure he did it. Yeah, it, it's That's like a, weird a it's like a vague memory. Yeah. But I, I believe I did because uh, it's it probably was didn't me make sitting it, in the tub. Probably didn't make it in there very far. I don't think so. Otherwise, I would have damaged myself. It's, still, yeah. it's still in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's like, his dick is a turtle nose. <laughs> like the, the issue that turtles have with straws. <laughs> oh, my God. It's gosh. just turned into a Prince Albert now. Oh, congratulations. Nice, nice. nice. Oh, man, you, you were ahead of the curve. <laughs> head of the curve getting that done. Ugh. Yeah, I've just never, never been into it. Yeah, I, and I would be curious to hear from people that are like, what, what does it feel? What does it feel like? Right? Is it the like, is it the pain that turns you on? Yeah, is does it, it a masochistic hurt? kind of thing? Does it hurt as bad as you is like I would think it would hurt? And shoving something in your pee hole. And I just wonder if we have like you know people in the medical field uh, listening. What are the dangers? Because I mean, and I know that there is some danger with say like anal sex because you know it's it's primarily meant to go out, obviously. But exit only. Exit. But people have figured out how to safely get things in there and, so <laughs> and out again and out again yeah. and, and in and out and in and out. <laughs> but like but with the, um, the, the next day it works like new. <laughs> but you with the with the urethra, it's like, is that tissue like more sensitive mm. than the anal tissue? Like, is it uh, medically? Naughty. He like worse to try and put something in there than in, in the butt. I would think it would be. I would think it's just such a sensitive, fragile area. It's yeah. The it it seems like a really bad system to fuck with. Right. I mean, same it's with it, pooping. But buttholes can get big. What's less advisable? Buttholes ex- expand. Right. It's a muscle. Pee holes don't get bigger. Yeah, I don't think very much. Yeah, yeah. You don't have like a gaping pee hole. I don't <laughs> think. But want me to explain that sounding video to you again? I know, but that per- pee hole got pretty big. How did but that? Did, how but, did you pee after that? I know, but did, yeah, did his pee hole get back to be normal size after being gaped so much? There's no way. I don't know. Because buttholes go back. I don't know how pee holes work. for the most part. I think they do. Okay. They do. From what I understand, one hundred percent back to normal butthole, no problem. From what I understand. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Wow, what a world. What a world. But our, our bodies are amazing. <laughs> so medical community, yeah. write in, tell if it's safe or not. Not medical community, are you fucking your pee hole? <laughs> write in and tell us. Uh, dumb at isbedumb.com. Dan. Yes. One star heroes. Let's do it. You, you fire it off. You say, yell at Logan or something. Come, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I get no respect in real life. Always am upset. So I let them know I hate them on the internet. Yeah. yeah! Nice. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, so this comes from Dummy Isaiah. Thanks, Isaiah. Thanks, Isaiah. This is um, we're doing hot sauce. This is, um, I guess, one Fuck. of the one of the worst, if not the worst, hot sauces they do on that show. Hot ones. Okay. Uh, and this is Da Bomb Beyond Insanity hot sauce, four ounce bottle, made with habanero and chipotle peppers. Original hot sauce. It's fifteen bucks. Uh, the ratings are really good. Eleven thousand eight hundred thirty six, and it has four four and a half of five, four point five out of five. So it's good, you know, well rated overall, but it seems five star and one star alike. It is fucking annihilating people. God, dude, fucking hot sauce. This is one of those things. I am not into this. I've never. I've had friends that have participated in those hot wing challenges thing. I've been the yeah. only uh, person that didn't. Right. Like, there's been ten of us. Yeah. Uh, maybe even more. Like a, yeah. ba- a whole baseball team of us. Right. Uh, and I'm like, I don't fucking care. Yeah. Fuck it. And like every other person did it. I didn't. Right. I ate normal buffalo wings. <laughs> right. Because I, that's so bad. I hate like just burning my mouth and yeah and shitting fire. Yep. I I am not into super hot foods uh, either. I know some people that's uh, uh you know one of their passions. It's a hobby. Is uh, if it's one to five at the place uh, you know at the restaurant they always go for the five. Wow. <laughs> Why? Uh, I I feel adventurous if I go two. <laughs> I'm either one or two. So <laughs> mostly my, I'm one. I'm pretty sure we've shared our my mishap at the Indian. Oh, it's great. Restaurant. When you ordered a two uh-huh. and they gave you a ten, <laughs> right. and you were sweating and your face was getting red, uh-huh. and then uh, and then we thought like you were overreacting. We didn't know you that well, and then we tried a little tiny piece and it was like, oh, this is not a fucking two. <laughs> this is the worst. They, 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 they gave you maximum spice. Someone fucked up. Yep, somebody fucked up. It made you mad. Like I, I was like sweating and trying to keep my yeah. shit together, yeah. and like you almost yelled at the waitress. Like you, you took one tiny bite. And you're oh, like, I'm yeah. fucking saying something. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> and I'm like sweating. And you're like, hey, excuse me, this is not a fucking two. <laughs> and I remember being like, thank you, daddy, <laughs> daddy, daddy, save me. Oh my god, <sighs> like, was so much. I was like gagging. It was so fucking hot. I had one time. I had, uh, you know, with these tiny four ounce bottles. Somebody dipped a toothpick. It was this uh, bartender manager at this comedy Acme Comedy Club in Minneapolis many years ago, <sighs> and he was like one of these guys that goes to the fucking you know uh, 
the hot soft <laughs> challenge places. The hot hot store. The hot store. <laughs> no, but he like he'll do the thing where they like you know how how uh, yeah before hot ones or whatever I guess some kind of competition where how you know was it how Coville? Much heat, how much heat can you handle? The Coville scale is not what it's fucking called. Oh, I don't even Something remember. Like but yeah, there is some scale, and he would like oh this is a forty nine on blahdy blah scale. Yeah. And uh, and he had this one hot sauce that he loved to see if people could handle, and he <laughs> dipped his toothpick into it. And I'm like, well, how bad can a toothpick prick be? I put that toothpick on my tongue, and I I like got legitimately angry with him. <laughs> we're like, where I was like, damn, dude, this is hot. I was like, hey man, do you have some milk? And he's laughing, and I was like, hey man, I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? And uh, <laughs> yeah, way too hot. Yeah, you go into you go into survival mode, right? When it gets like, yeah, you don't give a fuck anymore. You're right. Like, I, I I might die. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna kill. Some, I'm, taking I'm, gonna, some, I'm taking you with. If me. I feel like I'm gonna die, I'm gonna kill you before I die. <laughs> right. For putting this in my mouth, or you know, talking me into doing this. So this is like. This, it sounds like, is probably even more intense than that. Oh, fuck. Here's the first review. Uh, Lee, uh, Lay, Lay Chesney, Death in a Bottle, one star. I'm still recovering from this. It has no taste unless death has a taste. <laughs> I love heat, but this was beyond heat. Just after one small dip, I immediately had to drink a half gallon of milk and went directly into the trash. Unless you want to seriously hurt someone, do not buy. I'm pretty sure it would kill an animal. <laughs> We're gonna, what a review. Right. We're going to build up in the intensity of the review. So that's the first one. One star. <laughs> Next one. Hospital trip. If you have stomach issues, do not use. If you have stomach issues, first of all, don't use any of it. Don't use any of these hot sauces. <laughs> any option. Fuck right. It. And I, yeah, and I have a sense of stomach. So it's like, this, this, this would destroy me. Yeah. Alexa writes in, my husband and his coworker tried this and it sent his coworker to the hospital because he kept throwing up. <laughs> My husband wasn't as bad, just a minor stomach ache for 12 to 15 hours. Please use with caution. If you have prior stomach issues, bloating, digestion issues, sensitive stomach, even allergies to seeded vegetables, save yourself time and a huge stomach ache. Do not try it. Uh, it gets yeah. worse. It gets worse as we go. Okay. Kindle customer just random one star. Think twice before you buy this. I bought this for a friend who adores hot food and hot sauce. Once I gave him a bottle labeled XXX, he told me he used half of it in his dinner rice. Loved it. <laughs> Fuck. Kimchi paste is mild to him. He tasted one drop of this product and was in so much pain he couldn't sleep all night and missed a day of work. He threw the rest of it away. I spoiled a very nice person's birthday and wasted my money. Like, it fucking destroyed this guy who, like, lives on hot sauce. <laughs> oh, man. This is probably the this is poison. attention they, they, like, oh, yes. they love it. Yep. This they is love what we it. wanted. Fuck you guys. Mm-hmm. Mickey P. One star, not for human consumption. <laughs> this would be good in a solution to spray on pumpkins to keep critters away. <laughs> what, what, how do you know? <laughs> I'm not sure it has any flavor. It is not detectable because of the heat. There is severely smoky habanero scent. Someone might like it. There is just a ridiculous amount of heat. Unpleasant unless very diluted. Would be curious if anyone has a recipe in which this would be good or at least tolerable. <laughs> Seems like it's made from whatever they make tear gas or pepper spray from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> this one's a funny fuck. one fuck this daniel one star flames will speak to you <laughs> this hot sauce will make you reconsider your whole life your very existence on this planet just a drop will reach your soul and grasp it and hold it tightly as you breathe you feel the sauce squeezing harder and harder making you sweat while it slowly closes your air pathways as you begin to see the light it slowly brings you back to reality and the heat starts to ease off i saw the flames in the depths of Gia and came back <laughs> Some fucking weird... Oh, nobody's. my God. It's so good. Uh, so good. This is my favorite one star. So this is uh, Sparks Ig- uh, Ignominious. Uh, that's... I, I've never seen... Ignominious. Uh, Ignominious. I think it's Ignominious. Ignominious. Thank you, Logan. Well done. Ignominious. Look at you with your fucking words. Yeah. <laughs> Logan, do you know what that... Do you happen to know what that means? Ignominious? Not a clue. Not a clue, but okay. Well, you know what? Before, before we go... It sounds bad. Uh, it sounds really bad. In Let- context, I'm guessing it's an adjective, mm-hmm. and it's describing how deep of hell horror this thing is. Ignominious. I have never used this word. And uh, oh, oh my god, I hate that when they do this. Like, marked or attended by ignominy. Okay, yeah, but what is that? Uh, Humility. Oh, disgrace, dishonor. So marked by dishonor, disgrace, public contempt, shameful or dishonorable quality or conduct. Shameful horror. So shameful horror. Okay, I think it's like very fancy. Yeah, shameful horror. That's funny. That is funny. Ever wondered what a Civil War field amputation felt like? (laughs) (laughs) Well, here's your chance. I almost feel like, I mean, let's just do a little bit. Okay. The smallest dab of this FDA-approved battery acid will give you about 25 solid minutes of ineffable pain. 
and inescapable torture. Easy, Thesaurus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the gallon of milk won't help. The screaming will help a little, but only in a cathartic sort of way. The screaming helps you pretend you're making progress from the error of your ways, but it's completely optional. Your relatives will look on with a gloomy helplessness as you flail about like a fish out of water with a hook in its eye, wishing to the dear Lord above that you'd never taken that bite. It's absolute misery and horror. Your eyeballs will burn in your skull. Your innards will inflame and eating will suck for about a day afterward. I took one bite and got such a case of gastritis. I didn't eat a regular meal for over two days. This stuff should be taken off the market. It is poison. It is poison. It is poison. I like that. <laughs> now, I what I, I wonder if there's a hot sauce that says poison. Poison. Mm -hmm. What I love is the five star reviews oh, yeah? are the same as the one star reviews. <laughs> of course. That's what I was going to say. It's the exact same type of reviews, but just with a five star rating. Right. It's like someone wanted it. Yep. So the, the five stars are basically. Like, Almost killed me. Loved oh, it. Mm -hmm. Let's read two. Okay. Here's Tori Tai, five star, dangerously hot. Had just a drop to test it out. It burned so hard I had to stop everything I was doing and just lay down in a huge glass of milk to hopefully get rid of the pain. The pain does not go away and lingers for an hour. I honestly wanted to die as an easier <laughs> option rather than to face this agony again. It made my stomach tingle and even hurt my throat. I was looking for I was looking up ways to safely saw my tongue off <laughs> to feel to feel the sweet mercy of relief. And Fuck. then I recommend it five stars. <laughs> yeah, I recommend it five stars. This and is a masochist 468 shit. 468 people. Helpful. Yep. They're like, oh, I want to burn my fucking face off. <laughs> God, I can't wait. Last one, Joseph, five star, not for the faint of heart. Okay, so a little background. I grow ghost chilies and eat them semi-regularly just for a little kick in my life. <laughs> what the fuck? A, a friend, not a good this one. This is what of, sober people are doing out there? <laughs> right, right. This is <laughs> <laughs> a friend, not a, good one of, uh, not a good one of mine, put pepper spray in a Bloody Mary once and I didn't notice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've never really been one to balk at something spicy. A friend, not a good one, of mine suggested <laughs> I try this sauce. So I figured, sure, why not? I tried one full teaspoon. Oh, boy. It goes in hot. You can definitely taste the heavy presence of red Savina habanero, I believe. The flavor isn't really my thing. I'm not a habanero fan, but let's be honest, we're not buying this for the flavor. <laughs> it's very, very spicy for a few minutes. Overall, not so bad on the heat factor. Just about the time that you believe it's over, though, and you're in the clear about five to seven minutes, I'm not really sure what happened to me. <laughs> there was a nearly crippling pain in my stomach for probably 20 seconds, and I had what I felt like a curtain of dizzy wave over my entire body, wholly enveloping me in, a, in what I imagine it probably feels like right before you die from a drug overdose. <laughs> <laughs> then came the sweat, as if I had ran a marathon and sweat all waited for the finish line to flow. God. It felt like I had just gotten out of the pool. So as I rolled around on the floor, loudly moaning, why am I so hot? <laughs> I crawled to my living room, like some kind of inchworm salamander <laughs> hybrid, laid on the couch, writhing in, unco in an uncomfortable mess. While I rubbed my glass coasters all over my sweat-drenched body, trying to cool off from what felt like being boiled from the inside out, I vowed to change my life and be a better man. I was smart enough to try this in a uh, to not try this in a public setting. I hope you are too. Good luck. Five stars. <laughs> wow. I felt like I was gonna die. <laughs> I fucking saw the light. My mm -hmm. airways constricted. Uh, I was waiting for the fucking EMTs to come pick me up. Mm -hmm. uh, I felt like my stomach uh, had was full of fucking uh, fire and pieces of glass. C can't recommend enough. <laughs> right. I love the idea of a super sweaty fucking dude. Yeah. Going. Why am I so hot? Rubbing coasters. Right. Like. How desperate do you have to be to yeah. cool down mm -hmm. when, uh, first of just all, whatever was close as by. far as you can get is a glass coaster. Yep, you just grab like, the coaster. That'll do. I'll rub it on my body. <laughs> rub this on my body. Dude, this is like a, this is like a hallucinogen. Like, like this fucking sends you to just another place. Just mm. the pain. Which, it sounds miserable. It sounds miserable. There's no <gasps> fucking part. None of those reviews make me think like, I want to see what it, what it does to me. Is there any, uh, do no, you have fuck more? this pepper. Do you nope, have more? That's it. What is, I'm curious to see. Oh, okay. Is there, a, what's the middle say? Oh, like just pick a so random three star? If one ah. and five mm -hmm. were basically saying the same thing, but yeah. some people enjoyed the pain and some people threw it immediately in the <laughs> trash can. What's the people, what, what, anybody ah. in the middle saying something good? Good call. James Neves, three star, worst lube ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well played. That's fair. Uh, another one, liquid murder in a bottle from Jay Fernstein. Okay. Uh, hot sauces always have their own profile. Uh, on the way heat is delivered and each person is different. Mm -hmm. At first there's a smokiness that hits the palate 
Then said pallet is punched in the face <laughs> with a spiked gauntlet. Then the spikes are slowly dug into the face for about 10 minutes or so. While there are hotter sauces, the suddenness of the heat delivery and its intensity overshadow any real flavor notes. Good for a wing challenge, but not much else, I'm afraid. <laughs> so it's just like, everybody's like, same fuck thing. this shit. God damn. So bad. Oh my God. Yeah, so everyone's just kind of, oh yeah, Scoville, fuck me. What I, I think I called it something different. Did oh, I yeah. say Scoville? I think you did. A cold, I think Scoville is way off on this one. Extremely hot. Okay. I love hot sauce. I've eaten uh, habanero, ghost pepper, Carolina Reaper. Uh, this may say that it's only habanero and Chipotle, but it's got to be a lie. <laughs> When I ate the Carolina Reaper sauce, I made eight wings. Ate them with no problem. Within 20 minutes was fine. This sauce, if you can even <laughs> call it that, does smell pretty good and is nice and thick. I was making a video which included other sauces, one wing of each. And then he goes on, no yeah, problem, yeah, blah, no blah, problem, blah. no problem. Uh, wing four, the bomb. I ate the flat. Uh, okay. I could feel the heat, so I wolfed down the drum, and then it hit, HOLY MOTHER <laughs> OF GOD, all caps. This must have come straight from hell. <laughs> I could hardly see or breathe. <laughs> Dude, I, found, I found my way to the sink and just kept gargling water, spitting it out, repeat for at least 10 minutes. I see why people react the way they do on hot ones. Again, there's, there is no way this is only habanero. There has to be extract in it. Yeah, okay. Like everybody is hottest thing I've ever fucking had in my mouth. Yeah. Th thought I was going to fucking die. Doesn't matter like what the star rating is. Yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck all of it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Aaron's, Aaron's dad is a kind of a heat guy. Okay. And I just, nope. None of it. I didn't want none oh of my it. God. Tabasco is hot in my fucking right, mouth. Right, right. A tapatio. Oh, it's burning up. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling warm. Might uh, throw up later. What's this uh, at Thai restaurants and uh, Vietnamese restaurants? They usually have it. It's sriracha. Um, sriracha. So good. Th that's, that's the one where I'm like, I'm being adventurous. <laughs> right. Branching out. Branching out and getting <laughs> hot today. <laughs> Look at me getting crazy. Oh, ooh, two squirts of sriracha, not one. <laughs> yeah, a little whip in my ramen. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, a, ooh. I'm an adrenaline junkie. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> I'm going to go bungee jumping next. I'm looking at me. I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> right. <laughs> but this shit is. Death. Uh, Fuck. Yeah, never. I wonder if anybody's never. ever killed somebody with this stuff. I, I mean, uh, probably allergic. Like you, it will swell your fucking right? throat shut. Yeah, like like if you wanted to kill somebody, like like and poison. I mean, I don't know how you'd sneak this in because it smells so hot. <laughs> but I guess if you just like squirted a bunch in their mouth and I know what you could do. What do you could do? You could have whipped cream. Yeah, and you'd have hot sauce. And so a couple times you do the whipped cream. Yeah, like a then, blindfold thing. Right, and then when they're not looking, just fucking all of it in their throat. Mm -hmm. Dead. Dead. Probably dead. Probably. Or they just throw up a whole bunch and are very, very, very mad at you. What are they going to do? They can't see. They can't see or move or walk or breathe. <laughs> right, just right. leave. Just walk out of the house and laugh. <laughs> and just never come back. Right. Just never come back. Friendship, a, friendship over. Just, yep. And for maybe a, uh, a, a what, what, temp, murder, murder attempt charge? What do they call that? Attempted murder? That's one. Mm, I don't even think. Yeah. You'd just be like, no, I just thought it'd be funny. As long as you don't say something killer, like, fucking die. Right, right. And they survive. No one will know I killed you. <laughs> right. If you say that, then you're in trouble. Right. So yeah. you have to, uh, steer clear of that. <laughs> uh, I have some good news that involves drugs for Sliver of Hope. All right. You like drugs? I do. Of course you do. Let's do it. Sliver of Hope. Ooh, he's back. Was that this show or the other show? That was the other one. Ah, oh, fuck me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So first year of legal recreational cannabis brings in $1 billion wow. in wow. revenue, surpassing projections. Yeah. So this is in Arizona. Mm-hmm. Saturday will mark the one year or one year since recreational marijuana sales were legalized in Arizona, bringing in more than $1 billion in total revenue. Damn. Arizona's Department of Revenue announced the total gross cannabis sales reached more than $1.2 billion, not including December's final reports, <laughs> surpassing initial projections. Was that a... Uh, come on. And that was just a nice little sound effect. Just a cop have to drive by. Was that like, okay? Shh. Here, lay down. Lay down. You're talking about weed. Lay down. It's uh, legal everywhere else. Just not here now. Because <laughs> I was real slow on the on fun stuff. Oh, my God. That, I mean, that that is a crazy amount of revenue. I know. And that's just when it's just getting going. I know. And then here's where it, I mean, so it's not normal. So, for mm -hmm. example, if you look at Colorado, they made $292 million. Oregon had nearly $344 oh. million. Oh, Washington, so $185 million. Nevada, uh, almost half a million. How much are they charging down there? Too much. <laughs> just go cross the border. Man. Cross the border, save money on weed. But this is the, the fun part for Sliver of Hope. Um, whether you're, I'm guessing, at this point in your life, you probably should be leaning more towards pro- for this kind of stuff, they've kind of weeded out that the cannabis isn't the the, the devil's lettuce and make you do crazy shit uh, no, like a lot I, of other drugs the are. The only reason this shit is still illegal is because old people vote. 
<laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. Right. So if you listen to this show, chances are you're probably on the side of, yeah. of legalizing it. Even if you don't, like, I don't smoke, but I think we should legalize it. Yeah. I don't fucking smoke at all, uh, despite my cool sound effects. <laughs> So 7.3 million. I have, I have weed every week. <laughs> fuck yeah, you do. Hey, Logan, fucking yeah, every minute. I have it every day. Yeah. yeah fucking lives, every, every minute. Every minute out here. Mm-hmm. How, many time, how many joints you smoked while you're out there recording this show? Logan? Only three hits. <laughs> Bingo. So 7.3 million is education sales tax. 92.9 million is the marijuana excess tax, which funds community colleges, county health departments, and more. Huh. So it's helping yep. out mm-hmm. a lot in the community. And there could be, yeah, I so, mean, there could be that's so a lot much of money. more. Yeah. It, it, oh my God. Just a combination. And it's just so frustrating. Like, uh, I've talked about it on time. It's like plenty of times, yeah. but if you had, if you, less, if, if you legalized so many more drugs and you had, uh, or, or at least decriminalized all of them mm-hmm. as far as on the user level, and then you just got rid of like all those arrests, all those DEA busts, uh, just, you know, just like so much money. Uh, w- would stop going out towards our prisons, having nonviolent offenders in our prisons. And then on the flip side, you tax all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's such an amazing revenue generator if you could just go to the store and get your mushrooms and your LSD and your weed and your DMT and so many other things. It's fucking ridiculous to me. Alcohol is more destructive in my mind than all those things combined. And I'm somebody with a stocked liquor cabinet. I also love alcohol. Mm-hmm. I got fucking probably 25 bottles of just whiskey and gin in my house right now. <laughs> It's like fucking. I love it, but I'm also aware that like it's the worst one, uh, you know, compared to a, worse than a lot of these. It's not as bad as meth and stuff, you know, certain narcotics, obviously. But and yeah, worse in a lot of ways too because of just how available it is. Mm-hmm. It's just it's fucking everywhere. So that is another like if we put I mean if we put DMT yeah. and everything everywhere, yeah, it might be a problem. No one, but no one's beaten their fucking not wife yet. on DMT. <laughs> no, <laughs> not <yet>. ever. <laughs> you can't because you can't punch anybody. You're too fucked up on. That I'm stuff. just saying, yeah. the alcohol is available everywhere. Right. So that is a big problem of why yeah. it's such a huge problem. Right. So we, we'd have to weed out if, if, if weed out puns. <laughs> Come on, uh, weed definitely not that. Yeah. Other ones, if it's available everywhere, let's just see what happens. I, I, I say we give it a ride, dude. I would for sure <laughs> want to give it a ride. If I was in charge, oh, that we're giving it all a ride. Yeah, just give it, a, just Listen, give it a bit. We're, we're fucking flipping Listen, things. Shit might be fucking weird. Yeah, it's gonna be weird give for a, while. a couple years, and there's gonna be a lot of angry <laughs> yeah. older people who just like, why are you fucking kids when our drugs? <laughs> and you know what? Fuck them. Fuck them. Go kill. You know em. what? Yeah, fucking go kill them. You go buy meth. Do your fucking, drugs and fucking kill, kill them. them. They're the fucking tax burden. They're the problem. Think about that. We legalize <laughs> drugs. We get we get we get revenue from that. Yeah. We have less people in prison. We kill so many old people. <laughs> we let the people on drugs. If you're high, no crime. If you kill anybody over the age of seventy, just fucking but wanton you, murder. But you have to be high enough. But you have to be high enough to do it. <laughs> and then you have, to, you have, to have, have no to worry, idea what you're doing. We don't have to worry about the social security. <laughs> It's a whole new world. It's a, it's a fucking beautiful new world. <laughs> this is the future you want. This Trust is, me. Come on. <laughs> and then if you're worried, like, what about when I get 70? Well, then leave the fucking country. Right. And go somewhere that, where they like you. And they, they can't. That's what I'm going to do. But if you get old. Yeah. And if you're super high all the time, then you can't get killed. It's Ooh. a weird a weird game of there always you go. being too high. If you if you are, listen, if you're over 70, but you're pro-drug, <laughs> and, and you just got to make that clear, then you don't get to be killed. Yeah, see? Right? Now you're on the, you're on team. We want you to stick around. This is going to be great. Right? You're, you're our fucking guru. <laughs> Uh-huh. You, you're our shaman. You're shaman now. You get to be a shaman. Uh-huh. You turn seventy, you either get to be shaman or dead, or you fucking you're gonna die soon, <laughs> or you're an old fuddy duddy, and we're gonna fucking kill you. We're gonna, we're gonna gouge your eyes out, or you're a shaman. Do you want to fucking be burned alive, or do you want to do some drugs? <laughs> right. Come on. Think about it. Think about it. And but you could do both at the same time. We get it. <laughs> right. And some of you will get high enough. You won't even fucking care if you burned alive. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> uh, I found something uh, that you might be interested in okay. on the internet. We'll take a look at it right now as a couple together. The internet has all sorts of neat things. Anything you want can be yours. Let's take a peek, together, as a couple. To you, from internet. Be honest with me. Yeah. Do you have a cum rag? No. Me either. Well, yeah. I usually, anyway, I, bye. I, I usually if, I, if I'm going to use something close, uh, we just tend to go with the uh, t-shirt that I've worn. Or that beard. I just, uh, flip inside out. Oh, nice. And then, and then use that for cleanup and throw in the dirty clothes. I like that. I, I, inside out uh, clothing, like we'll do that as well. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of weird why. Like that's the part that would touch your skin anyway. Mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. True. Like like that's not going to seep through to the other side of the fabric. I mean, how thick is your t-shirt? <laughs> well, I haven't I haven't noticed any comb stains on my shirts. On uh, the inside though? Have you been looking on the oh, inside? The inside for I don't care. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, the com- <laughs> I think I think the comb. What I'm getting at here, the comb stain's probably coming out. But I'm with you on the inside okay. out thing. Okay. For, okay. for whatever human yeah. way. Uh, however, if you did need a cum rag, or maybe you would have a cum rag if you huh? could have your name on it. Ooh. So this is a personalized oh cum rag. You can get your name. Sean's cum rag. <laughs> Janet's cum rag. 
<laughs> and it's only funny gift. It's only one easy payment of nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Mm-hmm. That is so funny to send somebody. I know. Janet, uh, I love Janet's cum rag. I know. So uh, Phil. Phil's mm-hmm. cum rag, Matt's cum rag. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want your name on a fucking cum rag, it's available. Of course, it's on Etsy because mm-hmm. what the fuck isn't? Um, and again, we can't link to anything anymore. I'm guessing fucking cum rags would, would go to that. But if you go to Etsy and type in personalized cum rag, yeah, it better, it's going to pop up. If I, if I was I started dating somebody, <laughs> oh and, god and, damn, and, and I see like she has a mon- what is it inscribed or whatever uh, cum rag uh-huh. with her name on it in the bathroom, uh, that's so fucking hot. Okay. I, I'm all about it. What? I'm like, she likes sex. Does it matter the appearance of it? For a guy. Oh, like if it's a, like a roughed up one. Like I'm if it's like standing she, up. Like if it's standing up. Uh-huh. But the rest, but if it's standing up, uh-huh. but the rest of her place is clean. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm like, she comes She knows where to so come. Much. She knows where to come. Mm-hmm. And it's right there on that fucking cum rag. Oh man. <laughs> her, her pussy is like a fucking, like a new muscle car. So it's just like all revved up. <laughs> so much power. It's always going. It's a wet V8. Yeah. <laughs> like a boat it. motor. <laughs> no, no, uh, no weird shame. <laughs> no, no weird sexual guilt. Mm-hmm. She's empowered. Mm. Here's what I'm thinking. I don't think women would feel the same a lot of times about the dude. No. Like if he has a crusty fucking... Mm-hmm. Thing standing up in the corner. Day three, you go in the bathroom and his fucking crusty, like inscribed cum rag is fucking stand, <laughs> standing up next to the sink. It fell. It fell. I don't, off. I don't think that's going to elicit a lot of like fuck yeah. It fell off the tower rack and then just still standing up on the floor. <laughs> it's just like airing itself out. Anything could be a personalized uh, cum rag though. I thought about like a welcome mat. If I just wrote, if you came to my house yeah. and like you're knocking on my door and you look down and it says Joe's cum rag is like my welcome mat. <laughs> See, I don't that, know why that's funny. That's pretty funny. Whole blanket, pillow. Mm-hmm. Like you have, a, mm-hmm. like have it inscribed on a pillow. So like you give your, your friends come over and they, they go into their guest bedroom and then all the pillowcases say oh Joe's cum rag on all the pillowcases. Ah, can you imagine like like go to your place, like I don't really know you that well, and then like the hand towels <laughs> right. to dry your hands off after soap. It just says, there's two. Cummins. Joe's cum rag, Aaron's cum rag. Right. And that's, there's no other fucking towels. So you're like, I got to pick somebody's cum rag <laughs> right. to dry my hands off. Even I'm picking Aaron's and we both know that. <laughs> Like everybody, that that, that just what you every, described to me. Every means guest is picking. What you just described to me, we had one towel because that, no one's picking fucking Joe's cum rag. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! They can be as many towels as you want, but there's but no. If it says my name on it and cum rag. Fucking, there's, you, there's, there's no, there's nothing else. You no just do it option. as a gag, and that towel literally never gets used. <laughs> yeah. It's just the cleanest towel. Meanwhile, everybody's drying their hands with the other one. Like of if course. that's if that's the only choice they have. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I fuck. If I go to your house, I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> I get it. I, mean, I get it. Logan, I'm coming over. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Kate, uh, Kate's cum rag fucking drying my hands off. That's so funny. Sorry, he's being honest. All right, yep. let's hear from some of our dummy listeners. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 It's junk mail. My kids are in sports. I just thought about how fucking embarrassing it would be <laughs> for their friends to come over. Sure, or I meant like if so, if um, accidentally, yeah, Pepper goes to basketball practice and then <laughs> she pulls out of her basketball bag <laughs> and it just says "fucking Joe's cum rag" on it. <laughs> And how fucking terrible that would be. You would get the police. The police would talk to you, dude. You would police be would be at my house before you got home from practice. The coach would report you. You'd have a social worker and an officer showing up at your door within fucking forty hours. <laughs> the good news, she'd have a ride home because the cops would be having her protection and bringing her back home and making sure that, that, that I'm nowhere near her ever again. <laughs> uh, that's really funny. All right, so uh, I think we have two pieces of junk mail. Yeah, first okay. one. This one's funny. So first piece of uh, junk mail coming in from Dummy Hunter. This is a completely random message, but I figured you would find humor in it. And we did. (laughs) Living in a small rural town in western Colorado, people spend a lot of time out in the country hiking, fishing, shooting, etc. One weekend, my buddy and I went out to our local shooting area and were surprised to find a makeshift stage and stripper pole out there in the middle of nowhere. Whoa. We laughed, and against our better judgment, we used the stage as our shooting bench. <laughs> later that evening, I got a message from my other buddy, who's in his later 40s, and yeah. he was out in the same area fishing earlier that day. Yeah. He was with his 8-year-old son, 10-year-old daughter. His son snagged something in the canal, and he was trying to reel it in. No. My buddy Mike told his son that he thought he had a snag, but his son insisted that it was moving, and it was coming out of the water. Sure enough, Mike saw something moving under the water, and before he knew it, the object breached the surface and came flying out into the bank. And much to his disbelief, his son had netted a rather large sex toy. 
Oh my God! He said he instantly said, "Oh shit, birds!" And then, oh shit, birds and bees parent moment. <laughs> I attached a few photos of his trophy catch and a screenshot of his son's comments about it. I, I, I include just the picture. But this na- uh, this nasty toy made the rounds and found its way into numerous people's vehicles, showers, cupboards, and eventually left the state in my old boss's truck as he moved <laughs> to Oklahoma. <laughs> Sorry for the long story, but I thought it was too fucking funny not to share. Anyway, oh, here's the hilarious. fucking sex toy. It is a monster. Oh my god! It is a uh, what's that? A so fucking dirty. sixteen inch, sixteen inch cock with yeah. a suction cup. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah! Wow. That's a keeper. Like if you look at the, how big does the fish have to be to bring it home? It usually is in like twelve inches or something 12, like that. 12, between twelve and something, right? Twelve and sixteen, something, something like that. Like there's so a limit. 14, if they know. get too big, you have to fucking leave them alone. Oh, it's different for every fish. Every you know what? I've listen. I, you, I know I, I am an avid fisherman. <laughs> there's a reason I'm asking you. I'm an avid fisherman, <laughs> but that's why I'm telling you. It depends on like you know the county you're in, yeah. uh, local regulations. <laughs> you know, you got to talk to your guides. I was surprised about your like you're waffling out the gate. I thought you would know this. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that I'm an avid fisherman. <laughs> I know. I know. That. <laughs> sometimes, listen, I fish so much. I fish so much. <laughs> I sometimes forget when I'm fishing. Am I'm I an gonna... expert or do I not know fucking anything about fishing? <laughs> you know? I get confused. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have one final story this week. Uh, this is coming in from Dummy Jack, who writes Hi, Dummy. It's just a quick story about things that shouldn't happen next to schools. I work at a high school. And was trying to leave one day before the massive onslaught of traffic that happens when schools lets out or the schools let out. I made it out, two minutes to spare. I got about ten minutes down the road when I got a call from my wife, who was working at the same school as a bus driver at the time. She said the school was on code red lockdown and that she was having to hide inside because there had been multiple shots fired. I freaked out. I knew I couldn't go back that way. I turned around anyway, went as far as I could and parked before I received another phone call from her saying that everything was okay. So apparently. At the cemetery across the street, they had a planned military funeral at the exact time school was letting out, and the shots were from a 21-gun salute. (laughs) I think the school gets a call every time now. They're doing a military funeral, regardless of the time of the day. Uh, Great show. Three out of five stars. Change a dang or whatever people say at the end of these things. (laughs) Your pal and Whipple enthusiast, Jackie McGowan. Oh, thanks, Jackie. McGowan. Yeah. I've heard... I've gotten scared with a 21 gun salute with the cemetery across our street here. Have they had one of those yeah. over there? It's been a long time. I've, I've, yeah, I've like had one. Must within within the, probably the first year that I was working here. Really? They had one I, over there. I remember just being like, what the fuck? Yeah. 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 And just hearing gunshots and mm-hmm. then like it went outside, was looking around. What the fuck? And then, yeah, there's just some, some people shooting fucking guns in the cemetery. Oh. Which, I mean, you know, as soon as I saw what it was, like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, but no worries. Imagine that happened right by a school. It's just coming off the back of us talking about the tigers. Right. In the daycare, oh, yeah. right next to the daycare. Mm-hmm. So these are things that shouldn't be next to a school. Yep. Yeah. That, that was, uh, yeah, you should give them a heads up. Hey, mm-hmm. we're going to be firing a lot of rifles over here. Right. No need for the lockdown. <laughs> that is, that's terrifying. Especially, that especially these days. Well, yeah. Fuck, yeah. I mean, I mean and, they, and they take that stuff so seriously, which is good. Yeah. But any report, somebody calls in a threat or whatever, they shut it all down. Because mm-hmm. that's happened to my kids numerous times now. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well, that's it for our show. I mean, I felt like that was funny and we laughed a bunch. I think it was, we had a fun time. And reimbursed uh, my belief on hot sauce can go fuck itself. Oh, boy. Oh. Mm-hmm. Re- reimbursed or reinforced? Both. Both. Yeah. I don't have to pay for anything. <laughs> and and I still believe it. I was I was trying to play my mind. I'm like, could that, is that, do people use it in that context? They do. I got reimbursed. <laughs> you just reimbursed my faith in humanity. <laughs> you got it. What, what? Sometimes people say things <laughs> that they don't mean. You know that. <laughs> uh, Logan, thank you Producing you and directing it. the show uh, Again, that new merch We're calling it the Data Transfer merch Available mm. right now at badmagicmerch.com And also at iswedumb.com We've got sweatshirts, we've got shirts We've got a beanie And for each one of those items that you buy You'll be entered into a raffle to win an autographed uh, Portrait family photo Of yes. Dan and I And we'll have three of them, they'll be numbered And you have a chance to win just by uh, by rocking that merch And I absolutely love it So again, head over to badmagicmerch.com and grab that um, I think that's all I'm going to fucking say We're just going to wrap up the show, how's that sound? Let's wrap it up Okay, well, I'm, uh, we're going to do a, 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 a dead joke I said that joke! Hey, you wanna hear a joke? Wow, made that joke. Sent in by Dummy Lane. <laughs> Did you hear about the chameleon who couldn't change colors? Nope. He had a reptile dysfunction. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Pretty they, silly. They sprayed foam inside of him. Uh, I actually, just to add on to that, I just happened just to show up. I don't even know what, how I came across it. My news feed or something? I don't even know. Mm-hmm. Or no, Instagram. It was some fucking channel about dad jokes yeah and this guy um had a picture of an icy 
in the driveway, like literally like from 7-Eleven. Okay. And he was like, um, he told his wife, he's like, be careful driving. It's a little icy out there today. Oh my gosh. You he's so proud of himself. You can't do that. It's a little icy out. It is. I see it. A little cornball. See it right there. Fuck that. <laughs> and I, I'm never going to stop. Never going to stop. Make me giggle. See you guys next week. Yes, we Magic Productions.